right, big spot here for the former undisputed UFC middleweight champion, Israel Adesanya, and he's not too emotionally attached to a lot of these results. I expect a big effort out of him here tonight. You know, John, I love that you teed it up that way because I was just thinking that for a guy that seemed to be on a rocket ship to the moon, becoming a middleweight champion, he handles adversity as well as anyone I've ever seen. When he lost to Jan Bohovic, when he tried to become double champion, still even keel. When he lost his championship, even keel. I believe that ability will allow for him to work his way back to a championship opportunity where I expect him to be very competitive and possibly earn himself the belt back. And skill for skill, there are a lot of people that still believe he's the best middleweight in the world. A lot of the elite 185 pounders believe that Izzy and not necessarily Pereira represent the toughest matchup for them. We'll see how Adesani fares in this critical matchup here tonight. champion Drakus Duplessis and even though of course he wanted to beat Israel Adesanya for the title it ended up being Sean Strickland this man's the best in the world and he has had knockers and doubters every step of the way they knocked his cardio they knocked his grappler the man can fight the man's a born fighter as are a lot of individuals who grow up in South Africa and now that he's the champion in theory he's 20 to 30 percent better we'll see if the incumbent can get dethroned here tonight well so much UFC history has played out here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas Nevada plenty more where that came from tonight the athletes are ready our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. To get us started with the official introduction to we go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's a Fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Israel, the last battle member of Asana. And now introducing the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed. UFC welterweight champion of the world, Dracos Silva Duplassi. All right, Herb Dean, third man Ready. in the octagon for this one. Ready. Good. All right, one of the best middleweights in the world at present, Dracos Duplessis, prioritizing a fast start tonight as we get underway in round one. Not as though he's been a fighter who historically plays with his food at times, but Duplessis doesn't want to give his opponent any window for optimism nor confidence. As such, he felt like his jab was gonna lead the dance, and eventually, his right hand would close the show. All right, so a nice standing job by him here to secure the takedown early. Stylistically, we wondered how much resistance there would be. Not much on that attempt. Well, it's very difficult to defend with a guy like this, who is so good at chaining those takedown finishes together. Once he gets to your leg, it's very hard to try and deter him from completing a takedown. He passes the half. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Adesanya gets up, he is back on the feet here. Now goes to the uppercut. So there it is, the kickbox 
boxer successfully defends the first takedown attempt by the more balanced fighter. He said he might have to play defense early. He did it well there. Well, he's expecting the wrestler to fatigue. As the takedowns fail, he starts to get more tired. Then he will let his hands go, elbows go, knees go, and use all of his weapons to try and finish his fight. That's a good kick by him right there. He's got that single collar tie. Straight right, he misses. Fighter's pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, staying busy fighting off of his back and he lands. Beautiful transition. Israel Adesanya getting worked here from the top. You don't want to take too many more of these ground and pound strikes. Great job landing from the top position. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Just over two minutes, round one. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between Duplessis is now looking for a Darce choke. That Darce choke is tight. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Oh, he reverses the position now. Nice work on the ground by Duplessis. Lands the grounded pound strike here. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost to it. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. He's got to be careful here. Huge crowd strike landed by him there. How much more can one man take? Back to the feet now. Right hand landed. Nice job by him defensively there. Nice kick. These guys are going at him. Good takedown defense by Israel. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Nice. Duplessis is back in side control. Can't get a good awareness by the defensive fighter. for the end of round one. This is a really close fight. All right, sit down. Give me that mouth, please. Breathe and relax. You're doing great, dude. That was awesome, OK? You almost had that triangle. I need you to tighten it. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Second round underway. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent.
Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Duplessis. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Well, we told you off the top of the broadcast he could do it all, but he's leaning on the striking tonight and continues to hit his opponent, really, with most of what he's thrown. Well, he can't miss. I mean, it's like the guy's throwing a baseball at the side of the ball. He, everything he throws, he lands, and he's showing that he can do it, and he can do it in abundance. The pace that this young man is fighting at is truly something special. Oh. Nice shot there by the champ. All right, just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home for another ground and pound strike. Beautiful punch lands there from inside the guard. Duplessis back in half guard. Making all these shots count. Duplessis has got full mount now. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, big, big strikes continue to land. Now he's got good body position, yup. Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. And now he's got the bat. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Duplessis in half guard now. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Duplessis right back to the full mount. Big right hook there by the champ. Nice positional control here. All right, close guard now. Under two minutes to go. Duplessis going to work here from guard. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight ending intentions. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing... Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get enough pressure to finish the technique. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning. The position of the underdog opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sleep. All oh, he passes to half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Duplessis back in full match. Twenty seconds to go, round two. Push off his head and posture. Final seconds here. Uh, watch the yard. This yard bar going up. Ooh, looks like it might be locked in. Once he gets going, he's got belly down on bar. Good run. Right. Let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors 
get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Duplessis, hook shot there, looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Oh, lands a beautiful jab. Oh, huge right hand. Big take. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Adesanya. Good, solid strike on the ground. Oh, another strike lands from the top. In the half guard. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Duplessis. Adesanya's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Another strike gets through from the top position. Duplessis looking for a Darce choke here. Oh, that Darce choke is tight. Oh, flatten him on his back there. Let's work. Come on, I'll stand up. Let's work. That was a slick transition. <laughs> Duplessis in half court. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Oh, big elbow. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and that was opponent's back in the I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you work. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Drakus Duplessis. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. He passed the half guard. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Adesanya. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Duplessis. Another ground and pound strike lands. He's in the mount. He's got to be careful here. Adesanya's in half guard. Now it's his mouth. Oh, and there it is. Was only a matter of time. That ground strike has cut him open. This is where he wants to be. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Well, he's got his back now. Thought about a choke. Instead, flattens him out. And now he's got a lot of options offensively, champ. Yeah, he's got all the options available to him. Now he just has to get all that hip pressure into his opponent's back and just start raining down ground and ground. And if you're the bottom fighter, better start intelligently defending yourself. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's going to lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets... Oh, he's out! Well, that was a high-level extended battle on the ground. Now, though, the athletes back to their feet, and no surprise, the crowd responds in kind. The crowd just loved whenever they get two high-level strikers going at it. It was very hard to get back up after getting taken down. But he's got there now. Let's see if he can take advantage of it. Duplessis, lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. He 
closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, no. oh, you can feel the reverberations here at the broadcast booth as he slams him down there with conviction. You should see that. The moment those two big boys hit the mat, John Spink was flying. It was amazing. Where's that working man camera? Yeah, we need that working man right now. <laughs> this table is a mess. <laughs> All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. Man, he's got good hands. Beautiful strike there. Look at the control and the posture as that big knee lands. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. He is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Oh, he's in the clinch again. All right, same bat time, same bat channel. You think he's going to look to set up that hook again here? I mean, you can see it, John. You can see him. Oh, that's double leg, yes. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're, he's got that arm triangle, watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. Oh, he's getting close to the finish now. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and his show in that defense. Adesanya's in half court. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice level change. All right, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield. Try to push your opponent off to try to get back in the Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into a good Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And he caught the kick. Kick lands. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said. Oh, oh and Asanya's getting going now. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you... Oh, how good was that judo toss? Out of range with that one. Great timing on that double leg. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. 
He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut is opened up. Changing the position. Fourth round here, less than a minute to go. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Duplessis. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Close guard. Twenty seconds left. Great shot from the top position. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Duplessis back at half guard. Very comfortable here. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. 20 minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Ready, fight. Ready. Yeah. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. Oh, nice hook there by Adesanya. Left punch on target tonight. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Sonya. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Just misses with that one. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, nice. The fighters separate. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Duplessis gets the double leg takedown. And dizzy as he looks to improve position here. All right, half guard position. Oh, he's got a choke. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Another Now to go on the fight. Oh, reverses the position there. Nice transition by Duplessis. Pretty accurate there from bottom position. Good work from the top here by Duplessis. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Kick right under that right elbow. He's got him hurt here. Now we're going. 
under two minutes now to go in the fight. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Closes the gap and gets the single collar timeout. Nice jab by Izzy. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish, or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is power shots landing on both sides. And the chins continue to hold up. You gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Duplessis back in full goal. Oh, nice combination of strikes here from the top. Standing over his opponent. Not unlike Muhammad Ali over Sonny Liston. Oh, that is a good reference. If you're standing and your opponent's on the ground, you're doing really good work. All right, feet on the hips here. Now we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a split draw. All right, so he came in the best welterweight in the world. Nothing changes tonight. Congratulations to the still UFC welterweight champ. He understands that he is the best fighter in the world at 170 pounds, and he proved that tonight.